Welcome back everybody. Today I'm here to tell you all about my latest workflow pack for one video. You can find it over on Civit AI. We're looking at the page right now. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button because YouTube ain't going to tell you. So if you look at my profile, just search up Drift Johnson or type DJZ, you'll find me. There's also a link in the description of this video just so that you can see it. What you're looking at here is image to video. These are image to video results. Uh, this is a text to, text to image result, um, and essentially I put these together in the cloud, so there is a run pod as well. If you don't have a GPU, you can still use this model with using my template. Uh, there's a getting started article. Now there are some workflows included here, but the video to video doesn't actually work yet. I think it's some problem with the input format, so don't panic if this gives you a bug. As far as I know, everyone gets a bug with this workflow right now. Um, so, but image to video and text to video work fine. I use SDP, scaled dot product. So uh, think about that. Um, if you take a look at the actual introductory article, the link is also in the description. You will see links to the official websites and their hugging face. My workflow pack, which we just took a look at, and then also Kijai's wrapper, which is, he's the guy that's made this possible. And then I've broken down what checkpoints, text encoders, and VAE you need, where to put them, and what they are, what the difference is, okay? There's also a link to a couple of the image version of my workflows, and also a link to the example workflows released by Kijai, okay? As you can see here, there's a lot of options. And what I've done is I've generally picked the 720p version uh, on image to video, text to video. I didn't pick up the 1.3 billion version um, and it's disabled in the run pod by default. Um, there's two new clip models. One of them is 11 gigabytes. So I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, there are actually uh, GJUF quantizations of the text to video model available already. So you can see them. I'm gonna be using the, G the Q8 version. Um, but I do also recommend Q4KM. That's quite good. Uh, anyway, moving on. You could also find the uh, workflows up on One Video Basics. So you'll find that in my DJZ workflows. All right. So there it is. You can expect to get nice, nice videos like these out of it. But it is a bit slow. But I'll say it's very faithful to your artwork. So if you're looking to retain a trained style like I am and like a lot of us are, I think it's a really good option for image to video. There'll be much more uh, information on this as we uh, do further, like future versions of the pack. And most importantly, don't forget to check out our Discord. There is a link in the description where you can join us. So that's just about everything I've got for you. Uh, don't forget to check out WAN video. There's a lot of new models coming out. So watch this space for future updates. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.